good afternoon. It's this is Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project. Uh, it's quarter to five, and I goofed. Well, sort of. I still have no power, and I only just got out of bed because I uh, hadn't been sleeping the last few nights, and I. <laughs> I had a cup of coffee this afternoon. Um, just lay down and take a short little rest and I only just got up. So <laughs> coffee didn't do anything for me. Um, I have really pitiful power situation right now. I've got the, uh, I've got nothing left. Um, the camera's charged because I charged it up yesterday and haven't used it since. The, um, cell phone is in the, uh, the truck charging up. You can see the little blue light. Cell phone is in my truck charging up. The, um, my laptop is charging in my car. Now both vehicles have good charged batteries. The uh, You can see the green light from the laptop in there. So, uh, that, I mean, that's, that's where I'm standing right now. That's my power status right now. I've got nothing left anywhere. So, I, um, yeah, ran out of daylight. The Harbor Freight Generator, the little baby guy, oh, he's up on the porch, that died. The uh, head gasket had been blown. I think I mentioned that a while back. The head gasket had blown because the screw came loose and it burnt a hole through the head gasket. And that's why it was running off. I noticed there were fluids laying underneath the, uh, the cylinder head the last time I used it, and that's why it was running rough and not putting out enough power. So I have to rebuild the Harbor Freight Generator in order to uh, be able to use it. Well, I wanted to show you my wires. This solar panel is plugged into my batteries directly. Um, it didn't give much today. Uh, it's only 15 watts, so it didn't do much for me. The wires, okay, now these guys are disconnected, absolutely. These are the old guys that I had gotten from the scrapyard a while back. Now, my old camper wire, this is an old um, shore hookup for a, for a camper, goes up into my charge controller. You saw me hook that up earlier. That runs along the ground around the back side of the rock. Okay. This is what I did all day. Sadly, I did not do any video. I was just working all day out here. And part of the, partly the lack of sleep and the fresh cold air is what probably knocked me out earlier. Just put me right out coffee. I can't believe a cup of coffee did nothing. So that runs all along this path, all the way out to my single solar panel. And I'll go show you how I have him set up for now. Let me come around this way though, it's easier. So the wire, it made it between the house to the solar panel out there. I didn't think it would, but I had to move my solar panel. You'll see it is not in the best place for prime charging out here. Now, a lot of people suggest that I should map the sun's path throughout the day and get a good idea of where is the best place to put my solar panels. Well, I can tell you already, this is my third year here. I thought I cleared that up last time, but I guess not, because uh, I had a lot of suggestions of the same thing. You should map the sun's path. Okay, the sun rises over here behind that big tree, okay, in the morning. But it stays low, all right? It peeks through a little, stays low, and comes up about here by uh, 12 o'clock. Then it comes around, Gives me a little bit of sunlight, a little bit, and it comes somewhere down around into here and fades away around three. Now, I will start getting a little more light through the trees filtered through, but it's not much. So, considering that, morning sunlight shines right here on this side of the meadow, all right? Morning sunlight is over here, actually, where my wood is drying, and out over here by behind the RV area, 
gets a little bit of morning sunlight. But peak daylight is right there in the meadow, right there. The sun starts to clear the trees here and comes along and ends here. Putting me in this path is the best place to have my solar panels. That's why that one was faced this way and the others were faced this way. So they were, they were that was catching the uh, earlier afternoon and that was cutting the, catching the later afternoon. I had um, the two angles there for maximum peak sunlight hours. If I could afford the wire, I would run, because I've got a bunch of solar panels, I would run solar panels all over the place, but the wire would be outrageous because best would be have a couple morning sunrise solar panels over here and a couple peak afternoon solar panels over here and some late afternoon solar panels over there. But uh, that would be a lot of wire. Moving the solar panels, forget it. This was a an all-day task, and as you can see, I only got two moved. Um, actually, only one. I can't move that alone. No way, not without breaking something. Solar panels are not. I mean, they're they're solid, but you'll break them if you um, aren't too careful. So, I it wouldn't be wise to manhandle them. Now, what I did for now. I took a pallet and laid it on the ground as a stand. It gets them off the ground, so no deer will step on them. Although deer didn't step on them yet, but um, they're off the ground and they're angled. And what I did is I took a piece of a pallet, the legs of a pallet, and I propped it up like this. Okay, so. This is something like I had last year, and it's semi-adjustable. I, um, I could put blocks and notches on that to adjust for the angle. So this is the simplest, really quick, thrown together um, setup. Now I'm going to try, right now, before it's too dark, I'm going to try to get another one over here. So, but I won't be able to show you till tomorrow. So I'm going to do my hardest to get at least one more one more uh, solar panel hooked up yet tonight and I don't know who knows if the light holds out I'll, I'll just try I'll just do what I can and then um, payday is coming up in two weeks maybe a trip to Lowe's and get some wire I need about 50 feet of wire and then I'll be able to hook up another set in parallel like I had had in summer. Now the reason I'm not using those other four panels, in summer you might remember I had eight panels set up. I had four sets together in series which gave me about 100 to 120 volts DC which went to my MPPT charge controller which meant less losses in the lines. So I was getting 700 and some odd watts of solar from here, uh, a couple hundred feet all the way over to the tiny house. And that was working for me. But when I put the second set parallel, so I was getting 1600 watts of solar, but the MPP charge controller, MPPT charge controller, can only handle um, 60 amps. So, during peak sunlight, it was filtering out half of the power and cutting it off. It would only take what it could handle. During off hours, it was taking the maximum output of all the panels combined, which was nowhere near 1600 watts. But what happened is, during peak sunlight hours on a hot, sunny afternoon, I burnt my wires. I had too much current going through my cheap, rigged up wires, and I burnt them. And that's why I'm only using four panels total at this time. I will be fixing that. Um, as I said, trip to Lowe's, buy some wire, fix that right up. So I'll be doing that next month. And I'll be a lot better off also. And next payday, I'm going to be putting up that wind tower, uh, wind turbine tower. So I'll be way better off soon, two weeks.
Well, I better get to work. It's getting darker and darker as I talk to you. It gets dark fast out here. So I'll catch you later. Well, baby's excited. We got a box. Let's see what we got here. Direct from Amazon for filming. Let's see what we have. Wow, all kinds of stuff. Um, so we've got, oops, excuse me, baby cat, all kinds of stuff. Wow, somebody bought me all kinds of food from Amazon. Tropical fruit, peaches, some tuna. Oh, Progresso, that's actually the brand I eat. More soup. Can you see what I'm doing here? Yeah, all right. Got some oranges. Some tuna. What we got here? Campbell's Chunky Chicken and Dumplings? Nice. Well, somebody wants me to eat. <laughs> SpaghettiOs. Oh, this is loaded. Some macaroni and cheese. Ah, a little bit of happiness. Double stuffed Oreos. Some pastaroni. Let me see, make sure I can get all that in the camera. It's actually quite a uh, load here. Maybe it's hovering like a shark. We got here some uh, stuffing mix. That'll go good with the chicken. Uh, we got some pasta sides, some Alfredo. Something else would go good with the chicken. Mashed potatoes. Some mashed potatoes and we got some pineapple boy somebody really wants me to eat here we got here natural vegetable broth organic nice wow interesting and a heavy box what do we got a mess of macaroni and cheese well I won't be starving now um, I can guess who sent this but I don't want to um, guess wrong so uh, Obviously, as has been happening recently with the Amazon fulfillment, just send me a little message on the um, on the video and thank you. This is this is good. Thank you very much. I haven't actually been shopping recently much, but uh, this is good. Thank you. And baby says thank you for the box. All right? Yeah, another box.